Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Pooh and welcome to week 74 of weight loss updatey sort of things. And holy shit, what a week it's been already and it's just starting out. I, uh, I'm gonna, I will warn you up front, this is going to be very petty and pissy and moany throughout the entire thing. I'm actually recording this a full day early because of what happened today that I'm just, I don't even know where to start. All right, we're going to start at the beginning, and we'll go from there. And by the end of this, hopefully, I, I'll, hopefully I'll feel better. Because, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. What basically happened was, um, if you remember months and months and months and months and months and months and months ago, um, way back during uh, Series 1, um, I talked about this guy who was just the biggest douchebag in the world. It's just... I have not hated a person this much in a very, very long time. This is the same person when I first started doing this stuff that he said, well, you know, start out by doing a 5K. You don't start by running a 5K, you asshole. Just, uh. anyway, just one of these people that uh, just so fake and douchey and just uh, not even, I can't even go as far as going as saying hipster because it's just, it's beyond that. It's beyond, that. it's a personality that doesn't actually exist. The kind of person that's like, well, you know, Mother Nature wants you to go vegan for the good of the universe. Like, fuck off. Go fuck an oak tree, Buddha. What the hell is does that even mean? It's, it's, it's just that same sort of, like, all the little positive, snippy, I don't even know what they are. The little stupid sayings that people sort of latch on to. Um, just to make themselves feel important and sound really deep and when they really, really aren't. Anyway, on top of everything else, he's just, uh, uh, just a shit. Um, I also, this is someone that, um, you know, is, I not, don't work with anymore, thankfully. Um, but who I have discovered since then has held other people back from advancement and everything else. Just a whole slew of shit. So it's just sort of everything's added in all together. Anyway, um, he has been gone, thankfully, for about two or three months. Um, haven't had to go near him, haven't had to speak to him, haven't had to deal with any of the bullshit that goes on there. And generally, I avoid him anyway. But um, what ended up happening was um, he came back. And this is what gets me. This is the thing, and this is, this is where the pettiness is going to come in. Um, in the two or three months that he's been gone, he's lost about 40 pounds. And, of course, ah, this is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know where to start with this. I know that deep down I should be happy and say, because it's always better, it's always good if someone can lose weight and, you know, get healthier and everything else. I get that. In my head, I get it. I understand it. And yes, and it's not a matter of, you know, losing the weight when I'm stuck because we've seen other people lose a hell of a lot more than that. Um, we've seen people in our, in the YouTube channel and the playlist. There we go. Um, there are people in there that have lost over 200 pounds, which is terrific. I'm not shitting on them for that. It's the fact that this is just, it's because he's such a douchebag. <laughs> he's such an asshole. And it always seems to be that kind of a person that he just sort of falls backwards into good stuff. And um, what had happened was, I mean, understandably, this, of course, is going to happen. He went out and he took a couple of months off. His mother was sick or something, probably dead, I don't care. But um, went out, got a trainer and everything else, and he has worked hard at it. But instantly, as soon as I saw him, um, and he was talking with someone else, just that old feeling of, oh, I hate your guts, I hate your face, and all of a sudden now I hate your thin face, because <laughs> he has lost quite a bit of weight, does look good, he looks like he's, he's healthy. Um, anyway, um, the thing that sort of, the thing that bothers me the most about all this, because I know you're probably sitting there going, this, this is what you strive to get other people to do. This is, I mean, you've done the same thing. Yes, I understand that. It's the fact that, and number one, is the fact that he's just such an ass, and I don't care what good things befall him. I just, eh, one of those people, you know. Um, but the thing that bothers me the most, the one thing that really stands out, the thing that really sort of made me the angriest, and the thing that really sort of set me off and got me just stewing for the last two or three hours at work and just fuming and sitting and just, being angry and just not even being able to concentrate and do anything else is the fact that I have no one to blame but myself for my current situation. I could have easily, uh, you know, been still losing weight, but it's been, well, I'll take a little bit of a break here and I'm not going to quite do what I need to be doing there. 
And yes, I understand that there were, I was sick for a week or so, but just sort of getting spitting all over the place here. Getting back into it, um, I should have gotten back into it a little, you know, with a little more enthusiasm. Um, and now normally the thing is, with something like this, when we see someone that's had success, generally that feeling of self-loathing comes back. And the first thing we think of is, you know what, I just, just it's easy for everyone else and it's so fucking hard for me. I'm going to go home and have five cakes. That's not the first thing that I thought of, which was uh, something I didn't really sort of notice until I'd been sitting viewing for about an hour or two. Um, the first thing I thought of was, you idiot, you could have, this could have been you. You could have been doing this exact same thing. And I know it's not exactly the same thing that we're trying to do he with the second series. With, uh, I mean, he's gone out, he's gotten a personal trainer, and he's paying for this and paying for that. So yes, you sort of get what you pay for. He's putting out a lot of money. So yes, he's reaping the benefits of that. Um, but the fact is that, um, I mean, I haven't been following really what I should be doing. I haven't been doing the full exercise I've been doing. I haven't been sort of pushing myself the way that I really should be. Um, so I can't say, well, it's this and this and this, and it's so hard because I try as hard as I can. I can't say that because I haven't fucking done it. Um, I can't, you know, point at something and go, well, I would have been able to do it if it wasn't for that. Can't blame anything there either. Um, the one week where I was kind of meh, I could have come back and, you know, done what I need to do. So I don't want this to turn into something where it's like, well, no, I have my energy back and I, I'm, this time I mean it. It's going to be different because we've said that so many, so many, so many times before. But I'm um, just, ugh, I've been so angry, <laughs> but it didn't push me to eat, oddly enough. Normally, that's what would have happened. I would have just automatically just, I can't say, snap my fingers, I'm so angry. I would have just automatically gone and said, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to do what I want to do and eat what I want because what's the point? Because everyone else, it seems so easy for everyone else. The thing is that, I mean, I haven't seen this person in probably two or three months. So when they come back, yes, it just looks as if they've dropped, and they have, they've dropped a lot of weight, probably 20 pounds per month, roughly. Um, but if you've got a personal trainer and you, you know, you're really watching what you eat and you're exercising, as I found out, you know, multiple hours a day, um, I don't know if it's like six or seven hours a day, but something like an hour or two of like nonstop tennis and weights and personal training and everything else, then yes, you're going to get results from it. So you know what? Bravo. Fine. I still fucking hate him because he's an asshole, but I can't hate him because of that. It just, it made me angry at myself because I, I mean, I had a goal in mind for next week, actually, um, which I'm not going to hit and I can't blame anyone else. Um, it's, I can't point at something and say, you know, I would have been able to do it, but then this happened and this happened and this happened. No, I've just been kind of, you know, the motivation hasn't been there and I have addressed that a number of times, but I can't, there's nothing that I can really point to to say, that's the reason why I haven't been doing this. Other than the fact that I haven't been doing it. So, um, I mean, I've been, I got so angry. I, even this morning when I was doing uh, my treadmill, I was fine. And uh, well, I'm recording this on a Monday, just to let you know. Um, when I did my treadmill on Monday, then, depending on when you're watching this, um, I I just, I walked five kilometers. I didn't actually do my run because I haven't done anything, or hadn't done anything for the three or four days beforehand. And then, of course, this happened, and now I'm beating myself up over that. Um, I have done the sit-ups and the push-ups, gotten to a point <laughs> where today I went, you know what? I know it's supposed to be 30 and 16 for the second series. I just said, screw it, and went 20 push-ups and 40 sit-ups, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I need to sort of I need to start pushing myself a little bit more. I know that I can do it because I've done it in the past. And I feel like I've just sort of been falling back and falling back and sort of looking at it going, well, it hasn't caught up to me yet. Um, and, you know, it's, ugh, but the whole thing, just seeing that, and I, I understand it's petty. It's something that, and this, by the way, this is 100% jealousy. That's all this is. This isn't something that... Um, you know, I'm saying, well, I deserve to be, you know, to lose weight and to look this good and be able to buy more clothes and everything else. This is simply jealousy. And I understand that. I can recognize that and go, yes, it's, I'm very, very, very jealous. This is what it looks like when I throw a tantrum because I'm looking at this person going, I fucking hate you. And of course it's working for you, but you're applying yourself. So I can still hate him. It's fine because his personality is uh, just, a, he's a piece of shit. I can't really badmouth them and just say, well, it's so easy for you to do this. Yes, you have the time. You've taken two months off work and you've dedicated your time to that. 
or Dead Mother, or whatever it is, but you've dedicated a lot of time focusing on that. So yes, you're going to, you know, you're going to reap the benefits of that. Fine, by all means. I'm still allowed to be petty and sulk and throw a temper tantrum if I want. And that's pretty much what this is. Just getting to a point where I'm just, ugh, I could have been there. I could have done the exact same thing. Um, and, but when I look at the progress that I've made um, since the first series ended, it's been fuck all, really. Um, it's, I mean, in total, I've lost 110 pounds. Those last 10 pounds, that's all I've lost in the past four months. And it's really, it's just, I mean, my diet is a little bit better. I'm, pro I'm sure that maybe one pound of it is extra muscle. Um, but beyond that, I, I can't point to anything. I can't blame anything. It's just simply a matter of me not get, having that motivation, not pushing myself to that point where I can actually get the shit done. So anyway, um, I like just went out my camera. I don't know if this is still recording. And no, it's not. Holy shit, you fucker. All right. Oh, you fuck. Seriously? Are you fucking serious? And now this is broken. Ugh, everything just went out. <laughs> Camera stopped working. Uh, mic stopped working. Everything just went. It was enough is enough. You're just throwing a tantrum. You're being a spoiled brat. Shut everything off and calm the fuck down, which just made me angrier. This whole day has just been a fucking wash right across the board. Anyway, um, to a point now where everything has just gone to a point, I'm just like, I, I can't do anything about it. I just have to sort of sit back and laugh and hate myself and hate him and hate everything around me for the next few hours. I'm sure I'll be fine tomorrow. Um, but it's nice to know that my first reaction isn't I'm going to go and eat a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the thought had crossed my mind, I won't lie to you, it did pop up. Every once in like just sort of every oh, every once in a while it's kind of a weird way to say it but um, once I realized that that was the first thing that I thought of was oh I need to buckle down and you know shoulder to the wheel nose to the grindstone and arse to the plane and the whatever the other sayings are um, that and I realized you know normally I would have just gone and bought I, like, I'm just gonna go buy five cakes and ten bags of chips and nachos and ribs and everything else and just eat them all. Once I realized that, then I went, ooh, that would kind of be good. <laughs> so there was a little bit of a slip. It has crossed my mind, but it wasn't the first thing, which is always good to, to, to sort of realize. Um, and, yes, I understand that, you know, I should be happy for him. Um, he's probably worked really hard for it. We know exactly how hard it is to lose weight. I just hate this son of a bitch so much um, that I just, I can't, I mean, yeah, no. I'm going to be petty. I'm going to be... I'm gonna be that person that's like, well, it doesn't really count unless you know, because you worked hard and you sacrificed and you ate properly and you exercised. Well, of course it's gonna work. Yes, of course it's gonna fucking work. It's what we we're trying to do. Um, and had I been doing that over the past four months, I'd be further along than I am now. So again, I really have no one to blame but myself. Um, not in a way of you know, not trying to beat myself up over this or anything, but um, just I need to acknowledge the fact that yeah. The reason why I've just sort of been well, stagnant, essentially. I, I can't even really call it a plateau because it, I haven't really been trying. Like, a plateau, I figure, is something that, like, I've been trying everything I can do or trying really, really hard, and you're, you're still not losing. Um, with me, I had lost, and then I gained, and then I lost, and then I gained, and I've just sort of been hovering around, but um, haven't really been giving it all that I like I should be. Um, and it's to a point, actually, I was so... I don't know, uninvolved, I guess is the probably probably the best way to put it. So uninvolved with um, you know updating my stuff and tracking things properly and everything else that I missed my own milestone on my fitness pal like two weeks ago. I hit uh, 500 days. Didn't even register. Didn't even respond to any of the people that you know say congratulations or anything. I do apologize for that. I should have. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know, it's, it's, my mindset the past little while has just been shit all the way through. So I'm kind of hoping that, you know, well, motiv self-motivation won't do it and self-loathing won't do it. Um, maybe spite will do it. Maybe spite will help me along. Maybe just that anger and that hatred for this person is just going to push me along the way that I need to. Um, and just sort of go from there. 
And yes, I know we're all supposed to like, oh, everyone loves you just the way you are. Little baby Jesus hugs everyone. Little baby Jesus is stupid. If you love everybody, then you are a very poor judge of character. You have to be able to point at people and say, you are a piece of shit for whatever reason. But as long as it's a valid reason, and this is a valid reason. I'm not alone in my opinion. I'll just put it that way. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is going to turn into something else entirely. But, um, yeah, I understand he's probably worked very, very hard for it, so I can't fault him for that. A lot of it is that petty jealousy that I'm feeling, looking at it going, I, I should have been doing the exact same thing. Um, and I have no excuse. I have no, I mean, maybe one week out of the past four months I can look at it and say, I, yeah, I shouldn't have been doing anything because I hurt myself. Um, but for everything else, it's just, you know, really need to pay more attention. Um, sort of just been slacking off in general. So um, I'm hoping, though, that just eh, if I stay angry long enough, then maybe I'll get to where I need to be. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And I'm still not going to hit my target. I know that for week 75. I, and it's gotten to a point where um, I knew that it, I wasn't going to be hitting it. But it's almost sort of like, oh, well, it doesn't matter if I hit it or not. It just, I don't know, I didn't seem to have that gumption that I should have. Um, here's a fancy word for you. But um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it was. And um, again, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, well, this time I meet it, I'm going to get right back into it. Right now, I feel like, yes, I fucking want to get back into it, do everything I need to do, and make sure that I stay on the track or on the path so that I can stay on track. Hmm. So I stay where I'm going. There we go. Follow the path, stay on track, and all sorts of other traveling metaphors that I can't think of right now. Um, that if I can do that, then, you know, yeah, I still need to hit my goal weight. And we're going to have times when we just, we don't want to do anything anymore. We want to take time off. We just, you know, we're sort of burned out from every facet of our lives where we just want to stay home and eat and sleep and do nothing. And that's fine. We can do that. We can think that. We can feel that way. No one's shitting on us for feeling that way, but we can't really afford to do that. And I certainly can't. I still, I'm not to that stage yet. I'm at a stage now that even if I continue to do sort of half-ass exercises and eat partially healthy, I will maintain obesity. And I don't want to do that. I want to get out of obesity into being overweight, then being into a healthy weight. And then going so I can look at myself and go, all right, you know what? I'm at my proper weight. Now I just need to sort of fiddle around and work with all the other stuff, which sounded dirtier than I intended. Anyway. I've had my little rant. I've had my little temper tantrum. Um, it's probably going to continue on for many, many days after this. And probably every single time that I see him, I'm going to want to smash his little face in. But that's just me. It's just, I'm not actually going to do it because you can go to jail for that. So, um, but really that's the only reason why I wouldn't. Oh, he's such an ass. But you got to give credit where credit is due. He would have worked hard for this. We know how hard it is to lose that amount of weight. And yes, if you're putting in money and you're going to the gym every day and you're eating properly, you're going to get those results. That is far ahead of us right now. Um, we're still working on that sort of bedrock um, for everything right now, um, which I kind of feel like uh, maybe we should push a little bit ahead. We'll stay where we are. We'll keep doing what we're doing, but doing it properly and go from there. Um, anyway. I'm going to have to chop and spice and put all these things in together and everything else because everything's breaking and my day has just kind of gone right into the pooper. So anyway, um, I think that's pretty much it. I've had my say. I've had my rant. I've admitted it's petty. I've admitted it's just jealousy. There's nothing else uh, that's sort of contributing to this, but uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I will be petty and I will be jealous for the next few days anyway, and then I'm gonna grow up and I'm gonna feel embarrassed and I'm gonna feel bad, but I'm still gonna post this one so that I can look at it and go, yeah, you kinda blew up over nothing. You know, little cry baby. Anyway, so, and plus it's always nice to have something that I can look at and go, uh, that's not the best. I probably could have redone everything and come back and say, well, oh, there's a gentleman. Nope, it's not that. I don't care, I'm keeping this in here, still going up. But I'm, I'm going to leave this here because I've gone on far, far too long. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me. In the meantime, these are warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video.